Brian, what are you doing? I'm becoming as efficient as I want you to become. Say that again. <laughs> it's a long drive from there to here, so we're gonna move two racks at once. Yes, two racks at once. Mm, there's five teeth on there. I think you're short by three. But you go, you go get them, Tiger. That's why you're the man. Hey, it's day one of a really cool project we're doing in Lamont, Illinois. Really cool couple have been following Aquascape for years and have always been hesitant to pull the trigger until this year. They've uh, come to our retail store several times. They've been to different flower shows. They've been to the pond tours. They've definitely done their research. They watch our channel, which is really cool. And now they're ready to do something big, not just big, but self-sustaining, really cool waterfalls. They've been collecting rocks for years, so I gotta show you all the boulders that they've collected. I'm just really excited to do this project. So here it is. It's gonna be a front yard pond. This is actually their driveway. Super intimate, very private. Now we're gonna finish off the front of this house with some really nice landscape and uh, an incredible pond. But we have a wetland filter starting up here. It'll come down through a little bit of a stream. We also have an urn up there. The purpose of the urn is to give them a little bit more height so they can see it from a front porch. Also see it from a future patio that's gonna sit over in here. The stream will come down into a pretty large pond taking up kind of this space. The whole thing's gonna overflow into a sunken patio with a 3,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system underneath it. So when I say sunken, we're gonna take this area of the ground, an 18 by 18 foot area, drop it down two feet, and then set our aqua blocks below all that. So my goal today, kind of a solo mission, is just to dig, dig, dig. You come over here, you can see the rocks that they've been collecting. You can tell they've been dreaming about this for quite some time, and they've got some beautiful, beautiful boulders in here. I love this big gray guy. These are all granite, big granite cobbles most of these are coming from wisconsin and they've just been collecting and collecting and collecting and what's funny is as i look at all these boulders i actually don't think they have enough but uh we'll see let's get to it i've generated an awful lot of dirt you can see that pile there another one over there but i love it i love this berm that we're going to get over on this side i love the complimentary berm over on this side of the driveway. So as you pull down this driveway and you come up into this space, you're gonna see like kind of like driving through a canyon almost, like this big berm over here, another big berm over there. It's gonna look really, really cool. Take you over here, I've got the pond kind of roughed in. There's quite a bit of grade change and I just had to eye it. Uh, one of our most important tools on a job site is a laser transit. From this side here to that side there is probably a two foot difference. That actually works to our advantage quite a bit because we'll get a really decent sized waterfall coming down in over here. Our water level has to be based off of this driveway here, which puts the water level on that side, maybe right about in there, about 12 inches above that shelf. Where that orange line is, is where my guess is. But we'll use that laser transit to find out. As deep as the hole looks, it's probably about three, maybe a little over three feet deep. So this space right in here will ultimately determine my water height. So I gotta shave that down lower than whatever that spot is over there. This is gonna be the sunken patio over in here. So there'll be some stone steps that come down from that area. Down here, this will all get lined with big boulders just kind of randomly placed into here. Now they're just gonna do a pea gravel base. There'll be a little fire pit probably over in here. And then this rectangle I've got here is where all my aqua blocks are gonna go. So now I gotta dig this down. I'm gonna end up stacking the aqua blocks too high just to minimize the footprint here. And so that's gotta go down 30, four inches this way and then the rest of that will be patio so aqua blocks and then we'll come our fabric and our liner and the pump vaults and all that other kind of stuff but uh been a fun day of digging and uh made some progress this will definitely help us move along we are loaded up look at this look at this i've got my ford truck loaded up in back and then my back seat there's not even room for a small animal in here in between so i've got everything pumps power heads lights engines dosing systems we've got snorkels centipedes We've got straps getting thrown over. So you've got probably, I don't know, 75 or 80 aqua blocks in here. We've got spears, we've got bowls, we've got rock pad, we got all kinds of stuff. We've got biofalls. This is a crap load of product. I love these Azuzus. We've got a 14 foot droppable bed on here. What do you think, Micho? You think we've got this thing pretty well packed? <laughs> I haven't seen it like this in a while. Oh man. We just gotta make sure we get it all strapped down tight. 
So as you remember, I came out here a couple days ago and pre-dug everything. You can see the guys behind me unloading everything. The idea of me coming out here pre-digging everything was so today we could really just kind of jump in here and get going at it. With all these guys, we'll get a whole lot more done than I did all by myself. Our goal today, get the aqua blocks in here. We'll have to double check my measurements and see how close or far, far off I was. But we want to get that in there. Um, fabric, liner, aqua blocks, backfill with sand, and then uh, come over here and start setting a lot of these large granite boulders in throughout this area. We'll get our transit out, measure the height of that. Waterfall, which is our weir, which ultimately determines the height of the water over in here. While Chris and I are over in here doing this, the rest of the team will come over in here and start cleaning up all these shelves and stuff. You can see that I haven't fine-tuned a lot of stuff. So we got some spoils here that got to get cleaned out. We have some spoils over there that got cleaned out. And then we still have to terrace all of that back. So a lot to do in the first day, but I think if we can get our aqua blocks, pumps, and boulders into this area today, get that prepped, and maybe even some rocks in there today, we're in good shape to finish this thing in two more days so three total days on this project and it'll be incredible Brian, Brian, right here, right here, right here, right here. All right, explain to the folks out there because they're probably wondering what the heck are we doing. Pretty big pit, right? Right. So normally if we were digging upon this reservoir, you would just have this area probably excavated maybe a little bit out past the perimeter of our aqua blocks. Yep. In this case, we have an enormous area excavated out past the perimeter of the aqua blocks because this is gonna be a sunken patio. We have these stone stairs that are gonna come down from this area here. They're gonna lead down into this whole area here. Pumps and everything are gonna sit down below the patio area. So all of this wall space you see back in here yep. is gonna get outlined with those big granite boulders. Some big, some medium, some small, just kind of the more natural look. Probably not a perfect circle, but all the way out. Pond is overflowing here. We've already excavated out this area. Believe it or not, this area here is exactly the same height as the grass over there. No way. Yeah. No way. No, it's amazing. Which is why one of the most important tools on the job site is that transit sitting right there. I would have never ever guessed this was had to be cut down so much lower than that area over there, but the transit doesn't lie. We rely on that laser level to do a lot of things. In fact, when I came out here and dug it on Saturday, I would have not have guessed the hole was four feet deep. I thought it was closer to three, three and a half, but uh, I got a little excited and kept digging, so we had to fill some of that in. There's nothing wrong with a four foot deep pond. The reason we had to fill it in is my liner was based off of a three foot deep. So if I had a liner sized off of a 20 by 20 foot area and went four feet deep, my liner would be short on all my edges all the way around. So we had to shallow that up. Speaking of liner size, you would always recommend to go one size up with liner, wouldn't you? Yeah, so even this hole, we had a 40 by 50 and ended up taking off, you know, probably eight feet off the edge. But I always tell everybody, I, especially customers, I hate to be handcuffed to creativity because the liner says I'm too short. I would much rather have too much and then have the opportunity to dig a boulder back in further. It'd be really easy to set these stone steps all the way out here. Yep. But it's going to look so much better to recess those stone steps back So that they look like they're cut into the hillside. Into the ground. But we'll dig all of this out as we start setting those stone steps, which will enhance that sunken feeling too. Cool. The only other thing we have to do, which I messed up, is this area right here. We took two aqua blocks and actually put them on top of each other. So if you look at that, that's what we see down below this. Mm -hmm. So we put them on top. When you do that, you have to extend your pump vault. And so we have these pump vault extensions. I only put in two for each one. So there's two on this one, two on this one. I need two more. So for every aqua block, for every full aqua block, you really need two extensions. Don't make the mistake I made. Mm. <laughs> we actually are intentionally not backfilling all the way up to this spot. So when water comes over that waterfall, yep. it'll come through this layer of pea gravel, which is going to really, really fine filter this pond. It's going to polish it, right? It's going to polish the water even more so than the bog filter up on top, right? As that water moves through all that pea gravel, I don't want it to ever pool up in the sitting area. So it'll get a chance to kind of dip down in through here and then polish it again before it moves into the aqua blocks. So I think we're ready for the gravel here. Gravel and then rocks. And then we're gonna start setting some boulders, which is the fun part. <laughs>
Boom, bam. Two racks at once. I don't think I can place them both at the same time though. Right back here, this gorgeous stonework that's put together right here. A burner for a fire pit will be installed in that gravel. This is a fire pit inside the liner, folks. So we'll have a gas line ran in underneath that little avalanche. There will be a little star burner or a circle burner, probably a 12 inch wide one right here, and that'll be fed by natural gas. They want to be able to put patio furniture out on top of this pit. This will all be pea gravel. Steps are going to go back over here, which we have not gotten to yet, but the fire pit's looking pretty incredible. And you can see we've just started working our way around mixture of some of these big boulders like this guy and then we're doing some little avalanches and landslides some medium-sized stuff it's coming together we've got matt in the machine he's bringing over uh, another rock and that one's going to go right around in here and then we're going to terrace it back in a little plant pocket in just so we can kind of soften up all this rock in here bring it in big boy oh there he is you know how you know at the end of the day the man that never stops is sitting down <laughs> and when he sits he eats <laughs> 